Well, hello everyone. Today's a quick video about uh, quick hitches. So I've got this uh, three-point tractor quick hitch that I've actually had probably about 15 years and uh, it's served me well. It's a very basic, cheap uh, three-point quick hitch. Most of these are probably built in China and imported over, but uh, I don't even remember the brand name on this one. I don't think it really was a real brand name, but anyways, um, these are sold all over the place. I can put a link to uh, probably the cheapest one you'll find online. Uh, I'll put one in down in the bat in the in the description of the video. But um, I just wanted to give you an idea. Most people that have a, a tractor like this probably already have a quick hitch. But if you're new to tractors and uh, you've never used a quick hitch, this is to just give you a basic understanding of, of what it is. So uh, basically, what it does is it connects to your standard three-point linkage in the back of your tractor and it allows you to just kind of back up and lift up your three-point hitch to your attachment and if your attachment is three-point quick hitch capable which many of them nowadays are uh, you literally can just back up lift up the attachment once you get it you know lined up right and drive off uh, you have to flip a couple of these levers these top levers when you want to take it off but it makes it extremely easy to put new uh, or attachments on and off on your tractor instead of always having to try to line up the little holes and and getting your top link lined up so uh, so today I'm gonna go ahead and install this on uh, this new tractor and uh, show you some basics on it I'm gonna hook up the shredder so you can see um, what makes it easy to uh, to hook up all right so I've got it hooked up so basically there's a pin that goes in uh, each three-point arm uh, right here you just set them on those arms get your arms lined up and spread properly and then you put the pin in to hold the arm straight or down there on that uh, you want to get as much slosh out of it I've got this about as tight as it will go back and forth but adjust your link adjustments to make sure uh, you get out as, as much slosh as you can the top link then goes in to uh, to make this you know lean however it needs to lean I'm gonna leave this loose for now so when I go hook up the uh, the shredder I can adjust it but uh, usually I just try to keep it where it's straight up and down and that usually works for pretty much everything uh, sometimes these do or do not come with this uh, top horseshoe link so basically this has had bolts in it that used to let you go up and down to where you needed your top link adjusted but what I found is if your attachments are, are quick hitch compatible they're pretty much all at the exact same spread and um, over time things would hit those pins and tear up the pin so what I ended up doing was cutting off a couple bolts and welding it on there as you can see over time that weld has actually busted I, I put a bead on this part of the hook and it really didn't even hold I didn't I didn't melt it well enough as you can see it didn't it didn't melt into the metal but that's fine because I did weld the cutoff bolts and uh, they're holding it just fine now you don't have to do this or whatever I did this because I just got tired of messing with it and it's it served me fine now what this does this horseshoe looking not horseshoe spur looking um, tool here I ordered separately because my quick hitch when I bought it 15 years ago did not come with this um, now a lot of them do and like I said I'll try to put links in the description down there for all of these pieces of the quick hit that you need but uh, if yours does not come with the adapter you can see here I bought this from someplace that sells ranch X whatever I think I bought this on eBay uh, later on but I don't use this much this is really only here for non quick hitch compatible three-point items so if it is compatible then I usually would just lean this this way and get it out of the way uh, if it's not quick hitch compatible I flip it over and I put the the pin through here and we're rolling so that's basically it for the three point just an overview this is where you would pull these levers 
it's a little rusted i haven't used it in a while but you pull the levers and this helps you release so basically to release it you pull those levers and this pin falls back which allows you to then just drop your three point and the attachment comes off but when you want to hook it up you just pop it over and as you can see this is here and there's a spring behind that so when you pull up and you lift your three point up and it gets a hold of that uh that pin coming out uh it just pops in and then it stays locked in into these pieces so when we're going to go hook something up that's how i leave it ready to go um the shredder is three point technically capable but i still use this on the shredder so i'm going to leave this like this and uh i'm going to go hook up the shredder with the uh, quick hitch all right so i uh, decided to come over here and hook up this shredder and uh but i didn't do the quick hitch hookup from the cab uh, i wanted to show you basically how this works when you pull up on it so i uh actually just lined up the tractor with the uh with the shredder and uh we'll put that over there so as you can see these are lined up right underneath the shredder and uh, this grass is a little high but i think you can see it now i'm going to use my rear three point lever if i can find it and get the video still there and i'm going to lift it so see how i see how it's lifting so if you notice what's going to happen is uh connect so those are bushings those are three-point bushings you can put them on there they make it work better um you don't have to have them but they jiggle around in there if you don't so you can i'll put links to uh quick hitch bushings also so that way if you need to get bushings for your attachments you can but man it makes hooking up uh attachments for the back of your tractor so much easier if i was in the cab i would have just rolled back up lifted that three point up and it would have just hooked right in so um again this has got the my shredder has got the wobble front end and as you can see even the hook has already got a hold of that uh of that pin that's in there normally i actually hook it to the uh, spur that goes on the top but uh since it just magically fit in there this time uh, i'm gonna let that be and because uh, mainly when i'm shredding i'm really only focusing on these bottom hitches we have a lot of rolling land so i try to keep this uh, shredder nice and loose so it can roll along the property but uh you know if you don't have a quick hitch for your shredder or <laughs> for your tractor then uh i definitely recommend getting one they uh work so much easier when you're moving attachments your three point can be a pain to uh, try to hook things up especially if you don't have the adjustable bottom links like this one does it just becomes a pain so uh so i hope this helps and uh, like i said i'm going to put uh links to the different pieces of this quick hitch that you may need and uh, i'll put them down in the description of the video so i'm hoping this helps somebody like i said it's pretty generic but i'll have all the links down there and uh, if you like this video and it helped you know please uh subscribe to the channel thumbs up the video you know do all the little fancy things that youtube likes you to do on these videos and uh share with your friends you guys take care thank you